Okay, so in this problem we're told a logic chip used in a computer dissipates 3 watts of power in an environment at 120 degrees Fahrenheit and has a heat transfer surface area of 0 0.08 square inches. Assuming the heat transfer from the surface to be uniform, determine A, the amount of heat this chip dissipates during an 8 hour workday in kilowatt hours, and B, the heat flux on the surface of the chip in watts per square inch. So the first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on. So imagine right here we have this logic chip and we know its surface area or the area that is going to be dissipating the heat is 0 0.08 square inches. And we know that it's going to be di uh, dissipating three watts of power. So basically what they're telling us here is Q, which we call the heat rate, which is basically um, the amount of, well, we, we use the units watts. So it's basically the amount of watts, um, and, and watts is equal to joules per second. So it's basically the amount of energy that's leaving every single second from our uh, surface that we're looking at. So in this case, Q is three watts. And um, yeah, so that's what we're given. Uh, they also give us the temperature, but it's not really going to be relevant here. You don't need to uh, keep that in mind. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is just start with A. So A wants us to find uh, the amount of heat it's going to dissipate during an eight hour workday. And they tell us the units here. So this is a helpful clue. So they tell us it's kilowatt hours. So keep in mind what we're given. So we're given that uh, the heat rate is three watts. And so if I want to be able to convert this into this unit, uh, what am I going to need to do? So notice that they tell us it's going to be an eight hour workday. So we know we're going to be looking at eight hours and we know it's going to be uh, Q is going to be three watts. So if I want to convert um, this into the right units, uh, keep in mind they're using kilowatts while well, we just have watts. So we're going to want to actually convert this into uh, kilowatts. So three watts to convert, you want to just do uh, multiply it by this right here. So one watt is the same as 10 to the minus three kilowatts. So it's basically just three times 10 to the minus three kilowatts. But we want kilowatt hours. So in order to do that, we basically can just multiply it by eight. So you're just going to have 24 times 10 to the minus 3. And see how that works. We're doing kilowatts times hours. So our units are kilowatt, kilowatt hours. Just like this. And so hopefully this makes sense. So we're doing 3 watts. And then it's going to be over a time span of 8 hours. So you just multiply it by 8. So this is your answer to A. Now let's move on to B. So let's go ahead and do B. So for B, they want the heat flux. So you need to know that the heat flux, uh, you usually write it like this as Q double prime. And the reason we do this is the prime or each prime basically indicates um, some level of a like unit, like a distance. So uh, Q, uh, Q prime would just be equal to Q over, uh, in this case, whatever your units are. So in this case, we're dealing with inches. So it's basically some length where Q double prime is uh, Q divided by some area. So it's basically the watts per inches squared, which is what they want. So they're asking us for watts per inches squared. So you're basically just going to do three uh, and then divide it by the surface area. So 3 divided by 0 0.08. Go ahead and plug this in. Let's see what it is. So it's equal to 37.5. Let me zoom in here. 37.5. And then the units are going to be watts per square inch. So this is your answer to B.
So yeah, the main takeaway for this problem is just really understanding the units. So if they give you watts, they want something in watts per inches squared. Uh, I know I'm going to be looking at the surface area, right? Since they tell me uh, the heat flux on the surface of the chip. So you're just dividing by uh, the, the surface area. And then in this case, for the first one, you're just going to multiply it by hours to get it in kilowatt hours. Um, but yeah, so these are going to go ahead and be your answers for this problem. And hopefully you found this video useful.